If you're falling behind, the number one thing, the golden rule about catching up if you're falling behind is that you cannot let yourself fall further behind. And it sounds kind of obvious, but actually it's not because most people don't do this. So let's say that it's a, it's a Tuesday and then you have more lectures or things coming up throughout the week and you're falling behind. Instead of compromising on your upcoming lectures or, or activities in order to learn what you've already covered to a greater level of depth, what you want to do is make sure that you are staying on top of everything else. You're not changing your schedule really in any way. Like the number one priority is still that you're covering the new content. And then you need to find ways to cover the previous content intermittently within that. And this is one of the major mistakes that people make is that once they start falling behind, they prioritize catching up. It can't be that way because then you will never catch up. And the reason is very simple. There is a cause that led the person to fall behind in the first place. So if that is not fixed, then that person will continue to just fall behind consistently. And if you fall behind consistently further and further, then there's no possible hope of catching up after that. Because once you've already fallen behind and you've started prioritizing catching up again, well, there's no way you're, that means that from the moment you made the decision to stop being on top of the existing content, you have decided that you will now forever be behind. It's very unlikely that you can then just catch up. So if you're falling behind, that's okay. You can overcome that, but you need to overcome it the right way. And the right way is to make sure you're on top of the existing content moving forward. And then you find time to catch up on whatever you've fallen behind on after that. It's not ideal, but it's a hell of a, it's a, hell of a lot better than the alternative, which is to just progressively fall further and further behind every single week. So how can you find ways to catch up and this is actually the same way that you should be um, studying normally in a lot of ways. So I mentioned this last time as well, you wanna make sure that you're studying in layers. So if you think about the way that you're gonna be assessed, if you have 10 lectures, the chances that you're going to be assessed on the randomest detail of lecture number three is very, very, very slight, okay? That means that there is kind of a diminishing return in terms of the yield of the things that you study. So if you say 80% of knowing the content is, you know, takes you, uh, let's say, let's say there's 10, 10 hours worth of content. It, it might take you five hours to learn 80% of the material. That's the big picture. That's the gist of it. You've got a decent idea of the, the main concepts. And then a lot of those details and the processes and the nuances that get you the higher grades, those are the things that's going to take you, that remaining 20% is going to take you 50% of the time or, or even longer. You know, if it took you five hours to learn 80%, it might take you 10 hours to learn the remaining 20%. But the thing is that you're still more likely to be examined and assessed in the 80%. So when you're catching up, you want to make sure that you're catching up on the 80% first and then looking at the 20%. And you can even cut that even more of that 80%. 80% of that is the most high yield. And that's going to be the stuff that's very quick for you to learn. So that's the type of thing that in a one hour lecture, you could learn that stuff, which is around 60% of the most important detail in about 15 minutes. And by doing that, you've actually covered yourself for being able to answer the most likely questions that you could be tested on in the shortest amount of time possible by building just basic first principles that you can logic, use logic through to figure out. And you should do that for all of your lectures. So let's say you're 10 lectures behind. And I really freaking hope that no one watching this is 10 lectures behind. But if you are 10 lectures behind, it can only take you a few hours to actually learn roughly the most important core principles of the 50% of those 10 lectures. And by doing that, you have now got a basic general understanding of the entire thing. And finding a few hours across, you know, a week or so is not really that hard if you space it out here and there. Then if you get more time, you can go over and do another layer. And that layer will cover you another 20%. And so now your chances of getting a few more random questions, right, have increased and your knowledge has deepened and you've gotten a little bit more detail. 
And then if you have more time still, you can keep going again and again and again and just putting those layers on top. But it means that you're not spending, you're not spending five hours on lecture number one that you're behind on. And then you don't have time to cover lectures four, five, six, and seven because you just ran out of time. It means that you've studied all the lectures to a basic level and then you've studied all the lectures to a more intermediate level and then so on and so forth. So that's the smartest way. And it's also the fastest way because it means that you are making meaningful ground in the fastest way possible. So if you only had 15 minutes to study, you can actually study an entire lecture's worth of material in 15 minutes. You're just not gonna get to that maximum level of depth and detail, okay? So reframe it that way. See how many layers you can get through over time. And now this is the same way that you should be studying for your normal lectures. The, the night before your pre-study, the priming, you need to be doing that core most important stuff. Get the most important information out there first. Big picture understanding, frame the way that it works. You wanna know, I always say, you wanna know how the information works before you even know what you need to learn. So any questions on that, please put them in the comments. I'm uh, constantly reading and scrolling through it.